what's going on guys this, this is my second time making this script because the first one felt more like i was trying to give like a documentary on this nigga and i'm really not i'm trying to like keep it how i talk so technically this is technically a script it's not really much of a script i kind of just wrote down jot notes and boring so anyways yo what's going on guys it's your boy roski back with another banging video so x is one of my favorite artists right he, he's probably in my like top five but oh my goodness yo his label is dead eyes just milly rocking on this nigga's grave or something because if it wasn't released by x himself it was released by his label it was straight dog ass i'm pretty sure after he passed me like a month or two later they were already trying to promote merch for him it's just like bro in the two years that he's been passed it, i know it, it's been two years can't believe it either in the two years he's been passed from december of 2018 to december of 2019 they dropped four projects under this nigga's name fucking they're about to drop a documentary uh and they dropped them they gave this nigga a museum nigga tupac doesn't even have his own museum and tupac everybody knows tupac you don't have to know rap to know who tupac is bro it was some overpriced ass merch too they they doing everything they are basically x's name has gone from a rapper who kind of i want to say popularized but made it like more popular for rappers to be more versatile in their songs you could be a rapper and now all of a sudden you're screaming on a track or you're singing or you're just talking about how you finna shoot a nigga fucking run up his pockets but no it's it's just like bro he seems more like a brand like x's name is more brand like than it is a rapper who's passed and needs to have his legacy be oh he could if he was here longer he could have been a goat like bro every time someone like they'll go on his account right his management or whatever and be like oh yeah we're dropping some some new merch is like 30 dollars for a shirt but then they were selling albums right his album they would sell his album like a vinyl version and it was like i think it was the question mark deluxe vinyl version Bro, it was almost a hundred dollars for that. Look, keep in mind, Question Mark Deluxe was literally just instrumentals of all the songs that were on Question Mark. His Ghetto Christmas Carol EP. They re replete oh my fucking god. Bro, they re-released the EP that he already had on all streaming platforms. And then called that shit a deluxe. With a few extra new songs. Uh Proud Cat Owner got a remix with Rico Nazi, which actually is a really good song. I actually really like it. And you know, his final album, Bad Boss Forever, was a shit ass album. And I'm, I'm sorry. As much hate as Skins gets, I st Skins still felt like an album, even with the songs that sounded like they weren't that complete. Skins sounds like something X would have put out. Like maybe not as like an album, but possibly as like an EP or something. I can see X putting that out. But Bad Boss Forever, yo, it's just filled to the brim with songs. I think there's possibly even like three songs I like off of that album. And one of them, I liked the original that didn't have... It was the one with Junior Luke... John, I don't even know how to say that nigga's name. The the nigga who had beef with Logic. That nigga. But the, they changed the beat. The original version had a way harder beat. I don't know why they changed the beat. They basically, the main reason I'm making this video is one just to talk about his shit-ass label. And, you know, I'm... Yeah, I'm talking like like I'm a close friend to this nigga. But yeah, the main reason I'm making this video is because um, I think it was yesterday I had seen that it was a set to go premiere at like nine o'clock. It was a music video for one of X's songs. Yeah, it was a song off the album and they were premiering it. It was a music video. First off, the music video was straight clickbait. I was reading some comments that are up on the screen right now and basically how they were talking about wow x wouldn't have done this like his fans were actually mad and that's kind of what made me spark this video you know it's click they they one fan basically was just saying how it was clickbait where the title and the uh thumbnail shows x in it but x only had like a 25 second verse and mainly it's just, that song feels more like a song like it feels more like this fucking fake ass low Wendex's song and X was on the feature, but they decided to put this on his channel. Basically, what this felt like, it was a big ass promotion for Lil Wendex over here. It was they had like a 10 minute uh behind the scenes promotion with 
his mom, his ex-manager, Lil Windex, and John Cunningham. If you don't know who John Cunningham is, he's uh, X's producer, helped him produce a bunch of tracks, I think off of um, uh, Question Mark. I think he also did some shit for Seventeen. But he was, and he was talking about how he was teaching X how to start making his own beats, and X was starting to get really good. And that song that they had released, what I think that was X's, that was a beat that X had made on his own. And basically the whole time throughout that video, and I noticed it, you can look at John's face and just tell he's not with it, bro. He is not having it. He, I, I feel like, because he, he was definitely one of X's closest friends. You see, his expression throughout the entire video was... Man, I can't wait to get out this fucking call until they had him start talking about X. When he started talking about X, you see, you know, his face lit up a little bit more because he's talking about his friend and the good memories they had. So I believe that John, Ski, maybe Trippy and a few others were actually good friends. Because I've seen some shit, I think it was either from Double XL or Dom is Live, because they always were posting about that nigga. Something about how the members, niggas and members only did not fuck with him. And another thing was that. I think, didn't the label fucking drop that one song with him and Peep? Knowing damn well, X and Peep ain't fuck with each other on some Tupac and Biggie type shit. Life is the Tiffany's and bottles of bubbles. Girls with tattoos who like getting in trouble. Lashes and diamonds, ATM machines. Find myself all on my favorite. 